The people of Idaho Falls agree something stinks. The discussion continues in a wave of online questions surrounding the new Intermountain meat packaging plant. Specifically, the people of Idaho Falls have asked where the smell surrounding the plant is coming from and if there is anything that can be done about it. You asked and we listened. Local News 8 Seth Ratliff got an inside look at the facility to sniff out the problem. Idaho Falls new meat packaging plant can process nearly 500 cattle a day. But according to engineer Paul Greenwood, the cattle they process are only kept on the facility for 24 hours. So where is the smell coming from? I put my nose to the ground to find out. According to Greenwood, the smell associated with the plant comes from here, where they process the waste. If there's any improvements to be made, it's through this system right here. Um, there is a smell that's, that's associated with it. It's, it's a little pungent, um, but it, it's not super strong. Like if you're, we have the same type of equipment that's in your typical uh, wastewater, water reclamation facilities. From here, waste becomes anything from fertilizer for local farms to scrap sent to the landfills in Magic Valley. Greenwood says all of that has an unfortunate odor associated with it, but the main problem comes from how long they're forced to store it. The county hasn't given us an approval yet to, to discharge into the county landfill here. So we saved that up over a couple of weeks, and the things that we would normally take to a landfill, we have to drive out to uh, Magic Valley, uh, to the Magic Valley landfill. In addition, all the wastewater involved with the plant has to be treated before they send it to the city sewer system. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So, and that's probably on the dirty side of what we discharge to the city. Even after cleaning and treating the water, there's still a smell involved. Greenwood says the next step is to find out what chemicals are used in the city system and in other industries surrounding them. That way, they don't create a chemical catastrophe in the Idaho Falls water system. To the city's credit, Eric Grossarth of the mayor's office says they're conducting rigorous studies to address the smells. We've also at the city installed filters at manhole covers further down in that wastewater system uh, to help alleviate some of those concerns. Greenwood also reminds us that they aren't the only industry on the block. He says the combination of runoff and smells could be augmenting the issue. When you start mixing a little bit from this part, a little bit from this industry, a little bit from this city, a little from this neighborhood, once it all kinds of come together, well, now it creates a pea soup, if you will, of things that maybe isn't as custom for the neighborhoods as what it would have been. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Local News 8's Seth Ratliff. We will continue to follow this story and investigate what can be done about the unpleasant smell. But Local News 8 would like to commend the plant and the staff on their transparency amid public scrutiny. But you don't have to take our word for it. If you are still concerned, the Intermountain Packaging Plant does allow the public to take tours and ask questions. For more information, you can visit our website and look for this story at localnews8.com.